Hey guys, this is Landon from Command Valley. Today I'm bringing to you a combo breaker combo tech. In videos like this, we talk about a combo that we're interested in, how to stop it, how to play it if you're interested in it, and which decks you can put it in. Today I'll be going over the Heliod Sun Crowned and Walking Ballista 2 card combo. If you're unfamiliar with these cards, I'll break them down for you. Heliod Sun Crowned is 2 and a white for a legendary enchantment creature god. He is indestructible, and as long as your devotion to white is less than 5, he is not a creature. Whenever you gain life, you can put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature or enchantment you control, and he has an activated ability that says 1 and a white, another target creature gains lifelink until end of turn. He's also a 5-5, five five, but that's kind of irrelevant. The next part of our combo is Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista is an XX artifact creature construct. It enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters. It also has an activated ability in which we can pay four generic mana to put a plus one plus one counter on it. And then it has another activated ability which lets us remove a plus one plus one counter from Walking Ballista to deal one damage to target creature or player. So how does this combo work and how do these two cards interact with each other? So let's say that we have Heliod Sun Crowned on the battlefield and then we cast our Walking Ballista with the X equal to two. So for a total of four mana, our walking ballista will enter the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters. At that point, we can pay one and a white to give walking ballista lifelink. Once walking ballista has lifelink, we can remove a plus one plus one counter from the walking ballista and deal one damage to any target. Once the walking ballista has done the one damage to any target, that will trigger Heliod, seeing walking ballista gaining us life, and we can then put a plus one plus one counter back onto walking ballista. We can repeat this loop of removing plus one plus one counters from walking ballista, doing damage, gaining life, and re-putting plus one plus one counters on it until all of our opponents are dead. Now that I've explained the loop of putting plus one plus one counters on walking ballista with the lifelink ability and removing the counters to kill your opponents, let's go over ways to stop the combo. There are many ways of stopping this combo. I'm going to go over the stacks pieces first because stacks is a way you have of not only combating this combo, but also stopping other combos that your opponents might be playing. When I say stacks, I mean making it a, a little bit more difficult for your opponents to cast spells or activate abilities or uh, use their creatures. The first stacks piece that you could use is Stony Silence. It's an enchantment for one and a white and it says activated abilities of artifacts cannot be activated. So this will basically shut down your opponent's walking ballista and prevent the combo from ever happening. The next stacks piece that you can play is Solemnity. For two and a white, it's another enchantment that says players can't get counters. It has another line of text that says counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. So this Solemnity will prevent Heliod from putting plus one plus one counters back onto Walking Ballista. You'll notice that both of these pieces of interaction dealing with this combo are in white, but that's not the only way that you have of dealing with these combos. You could also be playing Cursed Totem. It's an artifact that costs two generic mana, and it says players can't play activated abilities of creatures. It's kind of old wording, but it just means that activated abilities of creatures cannot be activated, so they can neither activate Heliod nor the Walking Ballista. If you're looking for other ways of dealing with this combo outside of white, you could also be playing Orbs of Warning. For five generic mana, it says you have Hexproof, and if a creature would deal damage to you, prevent one of that damage. Let's say, for example, that this artifact did not give you Hexproof, but it just said rather if a creature would deal damage to you, prevent one of that damage. Because Walking Ballista has to trigger individually, Warbs of Ording would actually prevent each instance of that one damage from Walking Ballista, and that would also stop the combo. There are lots of other cards that actually will say if a creature or source would deal damage to you, you can prevent one of that damage. That will also work to stop this combo. There are many other ways you have of stopping this combo, but just anything that gives you Hexproof or makes you unable to be targeted by spells or abilities or anything that shuts off artifacts or creatures from playing activated abilities that will stop the combo. The next category of this video series is how to protect the combo. This combo is particularly resilient given that Heliod is indestructible. Uh, it's awesome when you have half of your combo unable to be destroyed by most abilities and that makes it pretty resilient. Also, Walking Ballista's ability of removing plus one plus one counters from itself is can be activated at instant speed and since it's free, even if your opponents go to kill the Walking Ballista, you can just keep activating its ability on the stack. So the only way to really stop it are the ways that I mentioned earlier with the stacks pieces and the ways that your opponents have of giving themselves Hexproof or Shroud or, or whatever that may be. So if I were to protect the combo, I would just put in counter spells or ways of blowing up those pesky artifacts or enchantments that are keeping it from winning. Next, I'd just like to talk about 
other places that you could put this combo. This is kind of a unique combo because Heliod is a legendary creature, so you can play him as your commander. But I think one of the greatest downfalls to Heliod being your commander is the fact that you only have access to one color, and that color is mono white. Not to knock on mono white, but it just doesn't have access to the same amount of resources that are important for a combo like this as others. It's kind of mana intensive, requiring three mana for Heliod, two for his activated ability, and four for walking blisses, so that's at least eight mana, and that's pretty slow. I kind of brewed up a little bit of a shell. Uh, I'm not going to give you a whole deck deck, just kind of a little bit of an idea. I'd probably play an Azur the Enchanter deck. If you're unfamiliar with Zur, he costs one, a white, a blue, and a black. And he has this ability of when he attacks, you can search your library for an enchantment that costs three or less, and you can put it right onto the battlefield. So having Zur is essentially having Heliod in the command zone because you can just cast Zur attack with him and find Heliod and having access to blue and black really makes up for a lot of the weaknesses that just playing Heliod as your commander would have. You have access to counter spells so you can deal with the problematic cards on the stack. You have access to black so you could play good card draw and kill spells. You also have access to lots of other enchantments um, that would be useful to use and you also have access to cards like fabricate so you can go and just find walking ballista so there's just a lot more that comes with playing uh, a deck with three colors there are tons of other decks that you could put heliod in you could put it in any like brea deck that deals with artifacts you could also put it in a sidri galvanic genius deck because sidri has this ability that you can give a creature an artifact creature lifelink and death touch until the end of turn which would just make walking ballista that much better early game and also help set up the combo late game if you're looking for some more consistency in this deck or you don't want to spend the money on a walking ballista like me triskelion is a great alternative a little bit more expensive mana wise for six mana he enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on him and you can just like walking ballista remove a counter from him to do one damage to target creature or player Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Combo Breaker. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content. Let us know down in the comments below if there's any particular combos that you've been seeing floating around your local game store in your playgroup that you'd like better explained or you'd like to see done. We'd be more than happy to take a look at that and make a video about it. Thanks guys, have a great day.